Welcome into Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys for a news roundup coming up for you today and big big news on the Barcelona front and it all surrounds the board structuring at Barcelona. The way things are conducted, the people right now who are inside the club, that could all be about to change very very quickly with one big departure. We're going to be talking about that in today's video and we're also going to be talking of course about an update on the transfer front. There's going to be a Neymar update. You just know that that's going to be in there. But up first, it's the big news. Let's get to this. Because according to ESPN in Spain, who are often very, very reliable when it comes to these sort of matters, Bartomeu has made the decision. It's a final decision right now. And he's gone and made it. He is going to sack Pep Segura from his position as general manager of Barcelona. Pep Segura is going to be out. That's according to ESPN Spain. They say an official announcement is going to follow. It is going to happen. Segura is going to be gone. And that for me is massively, massively exciting. And I don't mean to celebrate anybody losing the job. It's not like that at all. I just don't agree with what Pep Segura stands for. And I think this could certainly be a move in the right direction. And this, of course, comes after Vice President Jordi Mestre resigned from his position at the start of July. And now it seems that Pep Segura is set to follow him out of the exit door. And it is rare when it comes to Bartomeu. It's very, very rare that I actually applaud any of his decisions. And it is rare that I'm actually on board with what he's doing. But right here and now, this is a decision that's certainly long, long long overdue. This should have happened months and months ago, possibly a season ago, or maybe even Segura should never have been appointed. But even so, this right here, we can see as good news. Bartomeu will be making the right choice if he goes ahead here and fires Pep Segura from his role as general manager. ESPN, though, are not done with the good news yet. They go on there to say that former Barcelona player Patrick Kluivert will be returning to the club also in the coming days. In a role that is yet to be revealed, of course, it's not official yet, but it's believed here to be the head of La Masia. Clivert's going to come in to oversee their coaching appointments at youth level, to oversee their, the work being done at La Masia and the youth teams, and I think that there is also very, very smart indeed to get somebody in of Clivert's pedigree, and that there could be a good acquisition, and better still, even better there than that, they say also, ESPN, that Eric Abadel, currently of course our sporting director, they say there he's going to be given more power in his role, which for me is is really good news because I've always felt even since Abidal come in he's somebody who certainly understands the club he's a very intelligent man he's seen it all in his career and I think he's a really really good sporting director but I've always felt during his time there alongside Pep Segura he's actually struggled to have full authority in his role because a lot of the time Pep Segura as this general manager he's sticking his nose into the business he's getting involved too deep really where Abidal should be the one who has the only call he should be the man there able to make those decisions without any interference there from other people within the board. And I think that's why Segura leaving is a big, big thing and is very, very interesting indeed. Because I've always felt like he wasn't really made for Barcelona. He wasn't made, certainly, for our philosophy. He's always gone against that. He was the man, of course, who would always demand the profile of players to be physical, to be tall, to be strong. That's not Barcelona. That's never been Barcelona. And I think certainly from a transfer point of view, the way we look at players, the players that we track, the players that we follow, now Pep Segura could be out the door. Certainly, it looks much, much brighter on that front. And the good news, actually, with regard to this restructuring at Barcelona, it doesn't necessarily end there, because this is actually part now of a wider plan right now of Bartomeu and the current board, actually, to shake things up, to really put a different spin on things, and to actually try something different. And as you always know, I've always said, and I've always maintained, the Barcelona board, the people inside the club, the ones who make the big choices, they should understand the club through and through, to be able to really make the right choices for our future. That's what I've always maintained. Barcelona people who know what they're doing. And I think right now, we are starting to see, with the people who are coming back in, ex-Barcelona players, people who understand the club, that is what we need right now. And you've only got to go there, of course, to the appointment very recently of Victor Valdez. He's come in there as the new juvenile A coach just below there. The Barcelona B level, the Barcelona under-19 team is going to be led by none other than Victor Valdez. And there's also been several other restructurings there and also different appointments at youth level just to shake things up. And as you guys know, I am never ever going to worship
ownership this board. I'm not going to be massively behind them. I'm not really going to get on board with their overall picture of what Barcelona should be. But at least now, we're seeing some action. We're seeing something being done to try to improve things and hopefully to mend things. Because I think for far, far too long now, there's been a clear disconnect between the youth teams at Barcelona and the first team. There's been a massive, massive gap there between the first team, what they do, how they conduct themselves, and then the rest there of the Barcelona ranks. There's been too big of a gap for any of those players to easily and smoothly make that transition. But right now, if you start introducing more and more people who understand the club, who get the idea, who can also pass on their advice, their knowledge, and be a part of the big decisions, it's very, very important there that they're involved. That's really, really key. And the more people who are there who get it, it'll certainly be better for us. It'll certainly see a better future for FC Barcelona. And especially there, with Pep Segura's exit, that's a big, big positive. On the Barcelona front, on the football front, out on the pitch, behind the scenes, in the boardroom, it's a big, big plus there to get Pep Segura out of Barcelona, away there from that general manager role, and let Eric Abidel have that authority. Bartomeu there, trying to make some changes, trying to do something different. Of course, we're not going to know the results yet. We're not going to know how it's going to go. But at least we're seeing some action. And that, for me, hopefully, will start to see us recapture some of that Barcelona identity. Under this board, I still don't think, and I still don't really believe, that it's fully possible there to get back to our true, true roots. But at the same time here, if we can make steps, if we can make strides to recapture that philosophy, to recapture what Barcelona really, really means, any decisions to help us get there, I'm going to be behind those and very, very happy here to embrace them and see how it goes. And that is certainly big, big news right now coming out about Barcelona and the restructuring that is going on. Of course, Barcelona themselves, the first team, have arrived in Japan right now ahead of the start of our pre-season preparations. Our first big pre-season matches there coming from Tokyo and Kobe in the coming week or so. And the squad who are there now will essentially go through various promotional activities, a few different events to do with Rakuten, of course, very, very closely tied there with our main sponsor there at Barcelona. They all appeared yesterday in front of the media as a collective. It was nice to see the smiles on the faces. They're enjoying their time, They're particularly the new signings, Frankie and Antoine Griezmann. Very, very happy, of course, once again to be donning the Barcelona colours. And of course, tomorrow, guys, that will be my first match preview of the season. Barcelona against Chelsea. That's going to be coming up that game on Tuesday, and the match preview for that one is going to be coming up tomorrow. So certainly get excited about that. But I'll just give you an update here on the situation right now on the Neymar front. I know many people are very interested in that. You want to know, are there any updates at all? I want to give them to you when they are them. And certainly right now, there has been an update in an official sense because Leonardo yesterday after Paris Saint-Germain's second pre-season friendly, he came up the sporting director there at Paris Saint-Germain and he said, look, I want to say right now, nothing has changed. Nothing is different from the last time we spoke, which was 10 days ago. Nothing has moved. There's no concrete offers right now for Neymar. He's here with us right now. He is a Paris Saint-Germain player. Leonardo then, the sporting director, was directly asked about a swap deal. A Barcelona made an offer, cash plus players. Have they offered you anything in particular for Neymar? And he came back and said no. He said, I repeat, there's no concrete offer. It's the same situation as 10 days ago. Nothing has happened. So I just want to say there, and I just want to confirm really, that Sky Germany report about the offer there of Barcelona offering 100 million plus two players of PSG's choice, that was nonsense. Nothing at all to read into that. And as of right now, we haven't launched an official bid for Neymar. Does that mean we're not going to? No, it doesn't. Certainly, we're just weighing up our options. We're being paid. Patient. We're letting the land lie, see how things go. We're not rushing into anything. We could still make a bid though, and I think it's going to be very, very interesting actually to see what happens in the coming days. Because right now, PSG are preparing to go on a pre season tour of their own. They've had two games so far. Neymar had not been involved in either of those pre season matches with PSG. He's not even been named in the squad for those games. But upcoming on July the 24th, on Wednesday of next week, they will travel to China for their pre season tour. Now, Thomas Tuchel yesterday was asked about that. Is Neymar going to be on that tour? He he said, as far as I know, yes, he's going to be there. And if he is there, he's going to be ready to play. So let's see when Wednesday comes, when Neymar does or doesn't get on that plane. And if he does go to China, is he going to feature the Paris Saint-Germain? That there should give us some insight and give us a massive hint, really, on where his future may lie and exactly how he's feeling right now as he remains, for the time being at least, a Paris Saint-Germain player. So that there right now, guys, is the full update on Barcelona. Big, big plans there from the board with La Masia and also at board level to try and shake things up, to try and make some improvements. Certainly, we're going to be hoping those take place and that those do go as planned. That'll be certainly very, very good to see and encouraging for the future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on all of those changes. What do you think about Pep Segura's potential exit? And of course, let me know your thoughts ahead of pre-season and on Neymar 
I will see you tomorrow, guys, for the match preview. We're getting back into it now. We should get excited. But until next time, as always, Vesca, Hell Barca. Okay.